Hello again. If you're a drummer or have ever thought about being one, then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. <laughs> that reminds me of one of my favorite drummer jokes. I can't believe I'm saying this, but go ahead. Let's hear it. Kid tells his mom when he grows up, he wants to be a drummer. And what does she say? Well, honey, you can't do both. <laughs> Well, unless you're savvy enough drummer to not only play in a band, but also to open up your own drum shop. But I've been fortunate where I've been able to make a living playing music. I just can't read a note of it. it looks like a giant Rorschach test. It's a mess. Uh, I got introduced to drums. The record would probably say five years old, but it's a little hazy, so I don't know for sure. I was with my mother. Uh, we were living in Florida at the time and uh, I got to see some great bands and I heard my first drum solo. And from that point on it was, there was, there was really nothing else. I mean, oh my gosh, eight, uh, Alice Cooper. I saw the original Welcome to My Nightmare tour. Not the remake, I'm talking the one in, way back when, ELO, they had a giant spaceship. I saw Boston, I saw The Cars, I saw Rush side stage for 2112, which is how I got introduced to Rush. Uh, I've seen them all. I was lucky that I was going to live shows a lot and there was a point where I was seeing about four concerts a week, so I was side stage a lot. And I got a snare drum was my first one, but I had sticks before that. And it was air drumming, it was beating on the sofa, it was beating on the ground and cutting out cardboard. and Just anything that I could do to create my own drum set until I could have one. And I uh, started taking lessons. I was summarily kicked out, uh, primarily because I just didn't want to read the music. And I still can't to this day. I liken our job to being both the den mother and the psychiatrist of the band. In a band setting, there's always one person that has to manage all the different egos and all the different emotions and stability of the other members, and that usually falls on the drummer. Looking at all the drummers of past, they all had their own command of the stage in their own different way, but more importantly was how they communicated with their audience, how they communicated tremendously within the music and the context of the music. Some drummers want a very loud, very boisterous, very big sound. Uh, they would choose drums that have that same characteristic. Uh, oak, babinga, much harder woods that have a lot of voice and a lot of character within them, not subtle drums. Uh, you may have jazz players that may play kits like these that are much smaller, that are a little bit more pitch friendly, where they can tune them up higher to get to the back of the room with less effort. Doing a drum store was the only thing that made sense as far as music instrument retail. Uh, I've worked for a couple major manufacturers or major retailers, uh, both here and elsewhere, but I know drums the best and I don't care to know anything about the other stuff, so there's no point in me putting it on the shelf. Uh, we have a couple vendors that have asked, well, why don't you carry guitar items? Why don't you carry some of these things? I don't know them. Why am I going to try and sell something that I don't know? Because if I have those items, there's going to be that guy that goes, hey man, you got this part for this whiz-bang doohickey? I don't even know what that is. Uh, there's gear that's available now that five years ago would have been twice the price. And you would have never seen it in other levels of technology until you stepped up to that price point. Uh, there's new technology in terms of how drums are made, what efforts being made to increase their productivity in the manufacturing side of it while maintaining that quality. And that's stuff that's way beyond my scope of understanding. Those guys are much smarter than me. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what I'm supposed to, this is my job as a servant. I want to help drummers be better. I want them to be better for themselves. I want to help them create the voices and the sounds that they want to express. Not that I dictate that they should express. That's not my business. I want to help them. I want them to grow as, as players, much as humans. And the only way that I can do that is to do things the way that I see fit, and that's doing it from the ground up. My story is here. I made my home here in Tulsa. This is who I'm supposed to be supporting first. I can't, I have to treat it like I would any type of tour when I was in a band. Local, people need to know me here. Then I'll branch out a couple miles and I'll introduce myself to more people. There's just a lot to do here first.